Can I have a word? <laughs> Are the Beatles going to go their own ways in 1967? They could be, uh, you know, on our own or together. We're always involved with each other, whatever we're doing. I mean, could you ever see a time when, in fact, you weren't working together? I could see us working not together for a period, but we'd always get together for one reason or other. I mean, you, you need other people for ideas as well, but, you know, and we all get along fine. Will you, will you, be, will you be doing films on your own next year? Uh, no, I don't want to make a career of it. I did it just because I felt like doing it. And it some, um, Dick Lester asked me, and I said yes. And I wouldn't have done it if the others hadn't liked it. You know? yeah. They said fine, because we were on holiday anyway. Do the others have film ambitions on their own? No, nobody's particularly interested in it. I'm not all that mad on it. You know. What do you really want to do? I mean, do you write I don't know. I just want to do a few things, you know. Yeah. And you haven't really decided exactly what... No, I'll try a few things, you know, but I just found out a bit more about films doing that. You know. What's this, the songwriting team thing will keep going on, whatever happens, will it? Yeah, we'll probably carry on writing music forever, you know, <laughs> whatever else we're doing. Because you just can't stop, you, you know, you find yourself doing it whether you want to or not. But you think the tours, like the American tours and the English one, you know, the well, stands in England... You know, there must be a point where they don't work anymore because they're not to do with what we're doing, record-wise or film.
We come along on Saturday morning, greeting everybody with a smile. Oh no 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 I refuse to go A Day in the Life This is Take 8 and it's the choir for the end Choir? Take a 1 This is called Good Morning Good Morning I believe I'm not sure about that That's right. You disconnect the phone and back in the USSR. You don't know how lucky you are. Oil Pedro, the fisherman, I fish by night and day. Unfortunately, I live in Bristol, far, far away. And there ain't no fish to be got. No fish to be got. There ain't no sea. The council came away from me. I'm Pedro the fisherman. With not a fish to fash I've got the hook and the line Big Mac, a big ass, some socks And a pair of wellingtons and a bit of wire Soon I'm going to go
everybody knows there's nothing doing. Everything is closed, it's like a ruin. Everyone you see is fast asleep. And you're on your own, you're in the street. This week's willing couple number is a young couple living in Reading, Sussex, and they've won this week's golden dress. Are you ready for it? Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Lucy, who lived at a farm called Little Town. She was a good little girl, only she was always losing her pocket handkerchiefs. One day, little Lucy came into the farmyard, crying. Oh, she did cry so. I've lost my pocket handkin. Three handkins and a penny. Have you seen them, Tabby Kitten? The kitten went out on white, watching her white paws. So Luke, he asked a special hen. Sally Hard Penny, have you found three pocket handkins? But the speckled hen ran into the barn, clucking. I go barefoot, barefoot, barefoot. Lucy scrambled up the hill as fast as her short legs would carry her. She ran along a steep pathway, up, up, up and up until little town was right down below. She could have dropped a pebble down the chimney. We'll have a good time, Molly. She's got some more than you've seen. Come on, come on, come on. And we will be. Come on. <laughs> come on, your daddy's little son. Come on, boy. Oh, to see you. It's the jolly, jumping, pally poodles. We wanted to request. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, very, very, very good welcome. Aye, aye. Your host for this evening is us, per usual. It's the Tommy Catherine. All right, everybody, keep it shining in your nose and your clothes clean. Don't forget the apples when you go downtown. Don't 
Well, that was another golden gasser from Woody the Woodbine. I like to think that now, this time of year, we can bring in a more broader, you know, something bigger and better. And this year we've got for you, straight from Havana, Cuba. We've got a swingy little trio, bass, maracas and bass. Each one of them are going to do their ut to entertain you in that inimitable Latin American way. In down Cuba we get many bananas. We get the coffee too. We don't have many cigars because we've sold them all. The Patrizia is the more. I can press on the message more. And I keep it my nerve. I have a lemon as more as Maria to meet you. Everyone you see is fast asleep. 